doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just us to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concuss of rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the Mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. You want something done properly? Alright, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They reinforced the other side heavily, but they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Miranda, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Anymore.
We're getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The docs corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. He's been through a lot. Not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, It will be alright. I know exactly what you mean. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. Pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega. But I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. 
Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them were dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Any chance we could get to the Citadel, Shepard? I'd like to follow that lead on Sidonis. I'll let you know, Garrus. I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it. Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mouse! Too slow. Why do I even bother? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Dead yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Harkin. Who the hell is Harkin? He's CSEC. We work together, sort of. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? 
Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. with Harkin at CSEC? Yeah, he was a pain in the ass back then, too. But I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. He's getting ready for us. We won't catch him waiting here. Right behind you. have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <coughs> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down. But... You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah, I hope we can do this again real soon. I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sedonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job.
Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. I'm a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid Sidonis. That was easy enough. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand specialists on the ship. 
I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you. If we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? My current upgrades are working pretty well. That's about the best I can do. Have you got a minute? I've got some diagnostics to finish. But don't worry, I haven't forgotten uh, what we talked about. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. It just might give us a chance against the Collectors. Talk to you later, Garrus. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. That damn saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Uh, are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not sure. Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. I don't want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case, fighting the Collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. You know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in this screwed-up galaxy. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes. But never uncomfortable. So when should I book the room? I'd wait, if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible, and take that last chance to find some calm just before the storm. You know me, I always like to savor the last shot before popping the heat sink. Wait. That metaphor just went somewhere horrible. I'll let you get back to work. Right. Because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam. But I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some, uh research and figure out how to, you know, okay, that sounded bad. The 
Hey, I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your fringe, so your um, hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully that's not offensive in human culture. Wow, consider me seduced, smooth talker. Now shut up and stop worrying. I just, uh, I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC, what happened with Sedonis. I want something to go right, just once, just. Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech now. Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Sexual activity, normal stress release for humans and Turians. Still, recommend caution. Mourn of chafing. I intend to be cautious, Doctor. But Garrus is important to me. You're not gonna scare me off. Of course. Hormones. Regardless, come see me later. May need analgesic. Chafing. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Turians based on dextroamino acids. Human ingestion of tissue could provoke allergic reactions. Anaphylactic shock possible, so don't... <clears throat> ingest. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust, would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. I'll keep the defenders busy. You slip around the back. Do you copy? Come on, Shepard, where are you? A copy. What's your position? We're pinned down at the door, taking heavy fire. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open! <laughs> 